is to meet our live guest for this evening and uh, he's here in the studio his name is harry paul hello thanks for having me thanks a lot yeah you're v- more than <laughs> welcome um because i love your voice and we've yet to share that with the rest of the eastern <laughs> counties but just tell us a little bit about yourself because you're, you're you live in dunstable well I, I grew up i grew up in it was Luton actually Luton Luton yeah, sorry yeah. beg your pardon and what is I, I mean I live in London now but yeah my parents are there and I go back and forth yeah so yeah yeah and uh, my music started off in in Luton did it yeah yeah whereabouts and how did that happen <laughs> the truth yeah <laughs> <laughs> well the truth is I was bunking school up a tree and <laughs> and that's how I formed my first band yeah Skyving School <laughs> Skyving School oh dear <laughs> yeah but um, but it's paid off for you yeah well you know you know, I enjoy it and keep going forward all the time. Absolutely. Well, you've got a very, very special voice as well, which we're <laughs> going to share with people Thanks at the moment. Um, and um, you've got a tour. You've got your own band as well, which is pretty cool. got an album that's just come out, with which we are going to play a track from tonight called Swings and Roundabouts. How would you describe your music? Um, let's, let's put it, um, last night I said weather, which is totally unfair. Let's put it as food, because I think food is always <laughs> a good, you know, it transports yeah. to, to, to music really well. So if mm. the music of Harry Paul was food, what would it be? Really nice. I think maybe a touch of West Indian, touch of touch of English, touch of touch of Scottish. Yeah. Yeah, heavily heavily on the Scottish, definitely. All right. And Fla- Irish, you got the Irish in there. Fla- all right, so real so, flavoursome type of thing. Yeah. All right. A Latino. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we can make a very as- <laughs> assorted sandwich out of this music. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got your guitar there. So uh, you play guitar. What else do you play? Well. In the daytime, I, I, I teach music with disabled people, so I work with Fantastic. them in the daytime. So yeah. I play, uh, you know, my, guitar is my main instrument, but I play drums, you know, and mm. I play bass guitar and, mm. you know, p- um, keyboards. That must be know. really rewarding. Yeah, I really enjoy it because, um, you know, I find that, you know, if you can get through to them, music is a really good way of expressing and... Such a powerful you know, tool. It is, and, and I find with, that's one thing they, they home in on. Mm. And, uh, yeah, they enjoy it, you know. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes mm. they get frustrated sometimes when because I show them different techniques on the drum, like you know rim shot, and you know they're, they're really good at actually expressing themselves and playing the drum. But the trouble is, they're just like, oh, I can't get it right, gee, and I've got to do da da da. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know bit of perseverance and yeah. you get there in the end. All right, well, yeah. tell us about the rest of the band as well. What's the lineup of your band? The lineup is Henley Henley Simpson, yeah, and he's from uh, London, and he plays the bass. And Romy uh, Romy T, I can't pronounce his, his full name, yeah. It's Turvin or something like that. But he's from Slovakia. <laughs> yeah. But he lives, he lives in London now. And um, that's the lineup of the band. And yeah. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Well, you must be excited because you've got a you know new album there and you're going to be out and, and touring it. And you're going all over the place, actually, aren't you? You're going across England and yeah. also um, you're, you're playing in Luton as well, Eccles. Yeah. Uh, but you're also going to Cologne. Cologne, yeah, Germany. I've, I've been there. I was there a couple of years back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a nice place to play. Good crowd. And uh, I think the German people, they, they love um, live music, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very different scene in Europe, isn't it? I mean, it we're is. part of Europe, but when you... <laughs> but, uh, you know, our, our live music scene has sort of gone through some drastic mm. changes of which everybody's trying to get them back and, yeah. you know, make it so there's more gigs for the mm. opportunity for bands to play. Oh, definitely, you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah, so it's it, good. If the um, um, favourite, uh, you know, if you could have sort of your, your own perfect gig um, tomorrow, the phone rang and it said, hi, Harry Paul, but we want you to play, where would that be? <sighs> I'd love to play the stadium, of course. A Wembley stadium, sta- yeah. Wembley, Wembley stadium. stadium, yeah. I'd love to play there, you know. Yeah. You know, but, um, I like the, some of the smaller venues, like, I, I, was, I like the forum as well. Yeah. I think it's quite a good venue to play in and, you know, Yeah. I wrote the Royal Albert Hall is good. I think the Royal Albert School, but it's good for like acoustics. Yeah, very much so. But, um, acoustic, but I think yeah, stadium, Milton Keynes Bowl. <laughs> Anywhere you like. All right, we're heading mm. big time. <laughs> let's hear some. <laughs> let's hear some music now from you. Okay. What we're we going to hear this first time? Well, this this track I'm going to do is called Should I, and it's it's from the album. On on the album, it's done in a reggae. Yeah. But I'm going to do it in like a folky kind of rock. All right. Okay. So, well, uh, it comes down to uh, stripped down acoustic basic. Here's right. Harry Paul live <laughs> in the studio. Should I 
I had a wish And the wish came true I would wish to be back there with you Cause I feel like my life Is like a deck of cards Being dealt the wrong hand Once again Now I don't want to fuss or fight I don't want to scream or shout Heavenly Father help me through the night I should have stayed away I should have tried again I should have feel no way No way No way I should have stayed away I should have tried again I should have feel no way No way All I've got is a ghost of what could be And I don't see no writing on the wall The friendship's drowned by rain And you don't call my name It's never going to surface anymore And if I had my way I would live my life different to the way I lived before. Should have stayed away. I should have tried again. I should have feel no way, no way, no way. Should have stayed away. I should have tried again. I should have feel no way. No way, no way I wish I didn't feel this way Cause my heart is sinking each day I know in my love for you Grow stronger each day They say that love's a stream That will find its way I only hope someday It finds us again Should've stay away Or should've try again Or should've feel no way No Paul here, live in the studio, and should I? Oh, <laughs> big voice that you've got, haven't you? And then so soulful. <laughs> thanks, Lord, thanks. So, um, when you started to sing, who was it that you were that you were listening to that gave you an inspiration? Well, you know, um, I suppose it was a lot of the reggae artists I was listening to, and then and like maybe the DJ like Uroy and Dillinger, I was listening to them at the time, and then Marley and Tabazuki and then I started getting into the Commodores and Lionel Richie and things mm. like that. And I must admit, then I just changed all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just switched to the punk thing. Did you? Uh, yeah, I just switched on, and I just it just I just started getting into the band, this, like, the Skids, and yeah, you know Russell Webb, which is my special guest uh-huh. on the night of a couple of two shows. What we're doing, yeah, Luton and London, Russell uh-huh. Webb from the Skids and Public Image. He's, and I, I was really influenced by you know his technique of bass playing and. 
you know, shoot at them, shoot at them guitar playing, and you know, John McGear can, because it's just a different technique, you know. I mean, reggae music is really good, and you can, you got that kind of, um, you know, and then you got the, the the punk thing, the kind of, you know, the harmonics, you know, yeah. all them things, and I was just, blown, I was remember, just like blown away by the different techniques and. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, that's a beautiful guitar that you got there. Have you got more guitars, or have you got more pairs of shoes? <laughs> I've, I've got more pairs of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> have you? <laughs> yeah, I've got a few. I've got a few guitars. As yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, but of course, if you're teaching and doing different things, I suppose a collection of things. Yeah, what was your yeah. first instrument that you started on? Well, if you could say it was an instrument, I'd say it was the knitting needles and the, and the drum. You know, that the top Knit- needles the and drums. Top of Top of Absolutely. Playing, yeah. And them things when I was, you know. Yeah. And then I went on to like the guitar, acoustic guitar. After yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you? We're doing a bit of a survey tonight about people who may have been served or been bought a drink by. You know, like served them tea or coffee, or maybe bought a drink by somebody. You know, celebrity or mighty, or you know, anybody in particular. Mm. Has, has that been your? Have you been fortunate enough to be bought a drink by somebody famous at all, or um, have you made them a cup of coffee? Think now. Oh, the Christians, the Christians, the Christians, yeah. the Christians, yeah, yeah. fantastic, yeah. 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 I, mean, I did some stuff with them, and like, yeah, I bought him a drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, well, that's yeah. Did he buy you one back? Yeah, Gary did. Gary, Gary yeah, yeah, he's yeah. lovely, Gary Christian. He's yeah, been yeah. on the show as well, and mm-hmm. they played in Cambridge not so long ago. And I went to, I went to see them, and they were mm. absolutely fantastic. Oh, they're good. They're just, good. Yeah. They are, he's a good, good vocalist. Fantastic vocalist. Yeah, mm. that's the thing about um, male vocalists. You know that they're they're all slightly different, but you just have that little edge in your voice that is kind of, mm. I don't know, it's just got that soulful, <laughs> soulful bit in it. Let's oh, hear, thanks. let's hear a track from your album now. This is uh, Tell Me, Baby, Do You Want My Love? Are you a romantic? I suppose I am a little bit, you know, I'm a bit romantic and I suppose I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm an all over the place kind of a guy, you know, like, oh, yeah? you know, the, the sad things in life as well, you know, and, you know, the poverty side and people suffering and that, mm. you know, there's some trunks, tracks on that and there's a track on the album called No More Laughing, which is about people, where we, you can look at it from different angles, people with disabilities, mm. people just have you know the downs the downs the downfalls in life and the, all the breakdowns and there's still people yeah yeah and this yeah. is it and, and people laugh at them and that's what the track's about people mm. no more laughing at me mm. really right. well let's get some love in the world anyway yeah, this is yes. tell me baby do you want my love tell me baby do you want my love because you're the only one that i'm thinking of tell me baby do you want my love because you're the only one that i'm thinking of
Terry Paul from his album Swings and Roundabouts. That's Tell Me Baby, Do You Want My Love? Great guitar playing there. He's actually here in the studio with us, able to play another song live. Really, re- really pleasant. I mean, you've really kind of picked up on a, on a groove there. This is your debut album. Is it your first album that you've done? Well, it's pretty true. The second one I've done. Second one. With this band. But with this the, is yeah. the most... The one which I really was comfortable with, because the last album, I didn't, I didn't have no much... Con- I didn't have a lot of control over it, so... yeah. This one is, I suppose, it is, it is. I suppose it is a debut in a way because it's, 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 you know, it's about what I wanted. All the songs in what I've, over the years, I've, you know, I've put put down a piece of paper and my ideas, you know, so many ideas I've got in, in my head, you know. And you never stop having ideas, you no. do you? I can see he's thinking. You know, he's just going ahead. His his family here in as well in the studio, which is rather nice. His brother and stuff, and you've got a lot of, sort of support from your brother. And your brother said to me, "My brothers work really hard, and you you only get what you." put in really it's true, yeah. so when you when you when you start to write a song how does that process happen for you because everybody's just a little bit mm. different how does it start for you well i tend to put down sometimes i've come up with some riffs little riffs and then i work around the riffs mm. and you know then a lot of the time tell you the truth i mean this album there's some songs in there really old go back about 15 years old because what i've what i've done i write things down and leave them just forget <laughs> about them and then i come back to them that's a bloke thing yeah, it's okay sorry. it's quite <laughs> right to do that it's an absolute bloke thing you know we, we can forgive that kind of copy and paste bits and pieces and <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it, you know and yeah so it's all good and i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying what i'm doing and i'm happy all right well that's good that's the main mm. thing as long as you're happy with it um you've got some great gigs coming up as well and uh, the nearest one to us or the the soonest nearest one to us um is uh, on the 22nd of july at the hat factory in luton um also wood green and you're playing in uh, Eccles at the uh, town hall that's in uh, september that so gigs are starting to come your way really yeah. but um you know do you, do you like being live? I mean, obviously you have a great band with you, and for mm. a three-piece band, that's making a really nice sound. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, the other guys, I mean, you're doing all the vocals and you're playing the guitar? Well, I play the guitar, and, you know, but um, Henry does backing vocals. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to get Romy to sing, but Romy's a bit, he's not confident at the moment, but he's, oh. he's, he's concentrating on drumming. But maybe, maybe in time to come, Romy might, because I've got some ideas, because you know he's got that Sabakian voice, so mm. I write a lot of instru- I write a few instrumentals, so I want to use his voice on something, you know. Yeah. Because, and... Well, like I said, like I said, I'm thinking now. I think what's thinking? Yeah. <laughs> and who do you see as your audience? Who's your audience out there? Well, I think my audience would be people into good music. Mm. <laughs> well, people who, who, who like things, songs about life and conscious lyrics. I think. Mm. Mm. And I, I, I think so. Yeah. I don't know age group. But doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. Age mm. is not a problem on the show because we're all only about twenty five ish. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> or thereabouts, <laughs> or thereabouts, <laughs> thereabouts. Um, any any things that you like to do, sort of outside of music? You know, when you if you just at home and you think, oh, I'm going to do that. You've got any mad hobbies or anything? Um, well, I like to train. I, I like to train. You know, yeah? I, I, I spend a lot of time in the gym and that. And do you get inspiration for songs when you're in the gym? Um, um, when I when I do the box size class, I, I do. I did get this inspiration for the song. There's a track on there called The Feeling. So yeah. And like a it's like aerobic it's like a it's like a it's a it's a it's a dance track yeah it's, got, it's like a you know like a you know you know the, the john mcgeeck is the guitarist who's using the band tunes yeah 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 it's like his style of playing on it yeah but with a kind of like a heavy drum pattern behind it and a, yeah. like a um, duk- 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 kind of yeah. bass and put together it's like a you know a good track it really is and uh yeah so uh, you've got that inspiration for that one. All right, training. Well, yes, he's a real hunk, ladies and gentlemen. He's a real hunk here, he really is. <laughs> There'll be pictures of him on the Facebook page as well. Uh, what about people finding out about you? How can we find you on, on the internet or wh- wherever? I just go to the website, um, www.harrypaul.com. Okay, and Facebook that's and H-A-R-R-I-P-A-U-L. That's right. Is that your full name, Harry Paul? Surname. Yeah, surname. surname. All right, Harry Paul. Mm. Um, interesting name where does it what's the origin of your um, name um, Trinidad yeah Trinidad Tobago my parents are from there yeah so fantastic have you been yourself yeah yeah yeah, yeah. good love it loved it out there <laughs> but anything's about the heat does tire me out and I'm, I'm quite I'm quite fit but I must have jogged about 100 100 um Yards out there came straight back. Honestly, I just, <laughs> I just heated something else. <laughs> yeah, it's better in Luton, really, isn't it? In yeah. All right, well, let's hear another live song from you. What are we yeah. going to hear this time? Um, shall I do Swings and Roundabouts, shall I? I think that'd be quite cool, yeah, and why not? Yeah, try it. Here he is live in the studio, Harry Paul.
When the morning comes, you harvest your thoughts, reflecting where you're at and where you're going. No more broken promises. You never believe them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Respecting the truth and never pretending. Ooh, this feeling is getting you down, getting you down, down, down. Swings and roundabouts throughout your life. Ooh, this feeling. It's getting you down, getting you down, down, down. Swings and roundabouts throughout your life. You don't know where to begin or where to turn to. Was it something you said? But who do you run to now? Do you run to your father? You have no other. Do you run to your mother, or do you cry at the thought of loss of a heart? All this feeling is getting you down, getting you down, down, down. Swings and roundabouts throughout your life. All this feeling is getting you down. Getting you down, down, down. Swings and roundabouts throughout your life, throughout your life. live here in the studio from harry paul live there you see all your songs they work stripped back and acoustic which is the most important thing i think you know when it comes mm-hmm. to doing something for radio because mm-hmm. um, it's difficult having a whole full band in mm-hmm. but it's great having just those songs coming in so mm-hmm. is is, uh, is that you know do you write mostly on your guitar yeah that's yeah? what i do yeah yeah mm-hmm. sit there and just ponder and, ponder and, mess around and fiddle about and mess around <laughs> right now it's time to get into the cosmic camper all right, the Cosmic Camp is a bit like Doctor Who's TARDIS. Okay. All right, so it can go, um, it can go forwards in time, backwards in time. Um, it can go wherever you like. We, you could go to an event, a gig, I don't know, to a gym somewhere, wherever you like. Where would you like to go? 
I'm on the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> Where would I like to go? Forwards, backwards. Backwards, just backwards. Backwards to somebody's Maybe. gig or, so, or to an event. Um, Particular place. Let me think now. Somebody, uh, I'm really on the spot. Uh, go backwards. That's all right. Well, yeah. I think yeah. Where? Um, cult to an event, a gig, gig. Yeah, to a gig. Yeah. See anybody in particular? Um, the band called Culture. Culture. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, you tell us about culture. Um, they did a song called Two Sevens Clash. Uh -huh. that it really is a good album. And I saw him play in the 90s, I think. Yeah. And what a concert, Brighton Festival. I mean, brand new heavies were headlining, but yeah. the culture, they were really good. Mm. They were really good. Mm. And uh, well, John Peel used to like them. So it's interesting so many people love the the late 60s or early 60s or 70s periods for, mm. for music and the the interesting thing is is that you know you can talk to the people that are around there and they're still out there the people that have kept it out there kept the music out there the zombies you mm. know we, we were talking to them the other week and they said yeah it was 15 when we first started getting together mm. and colin blundstone used to be who has another great voice he used to be the rhythm guitarist and they said mm. you're a rubbish guitarist can you sing and that's how it started for yeah, him okay, yeah. and it's 50 years for them I mean, oh, it's right, just yeah. phenomenal. Um, so you just never know. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's great that longevity keeps it there as long as you keep yourself fit and out there. I think that's the thing. And let's hope that that that, that you know carries on because mm -hmm. I, I think you know many people when you say to them that were around in the sixties, did you think it was going to last this long? And they go, no, I just <laughs> thought it was you know one yeah. of those things. <laughs> and then very often I think we um, we. Um, just glorifies one one hit wonders you know but it's just great if you can write mm. one good song then True, they say yeah. that's it all right well it's been a joy having you here on the program if people want to find out more about you it's uh, harrypaul.com www.harrypaul.com yes right, harrypaul.com yeah. uh, lovely album swings and roundabouts we wish you lots of luck don't forget if you want to see them the soonest nearest gig um don't go to Shropshire on the 26th of may um go to um the hat factory in luton because that's where you'll find harry 26th paul of july. 26th of july <laughs> 22nd, yeah. 22nd 22nd of july right. that's right um a yeah. few things coming in here love his voice it's really different which is rather pleasant and it is so we like that indeed thank that's you very good, much yeah. indeed harry paul thank you for